In any type of interview or voiceover driven video, B-roll is a critical part of the visual aesthetic. It breaks up a simple talking headshot or a set of graphics, and it keeps a viewer's interest in your edit. And although you can find world-class B-roll material on high-end stock footage sites like FilmPack, sometimes it just makes sense to shoot your own. But it can be difficult to keep that engaging, cinematic energy when shooting your own B-roll, especially if the subject matter isn't the most photogenic. But if there's one thing I've learned as a filmmaker, it's that there are ways to make any type of B-roll look good. Whether your location is in a cubicle or on a mountain, we're going to give you three tips to capture cinematic B-roll. Number one, shoot slow motion. If your camera has the ability to shoot at a high frame rate, now is the time to take advantage of it. You'd be amazed at how much more interesting things look when they're slower than real time. And this goes beyond the obvious things like machinery, athletics, vehicles, etc. Even if you're filming a corporate meeting or a person walking down a hallway, slowing it down will boost your production value and give you more flexibility in the edit. And if you're shooting handheld, you can also get away with a bit more camera movement when the footage is slowed down. Number two, mix up your shots. If you shoot everything at the same angle and focal length, you won't have much to cut between in the edit. This is one of the most common mistakes with new filmmakers when they're shooting B-roll. It all just looks the same. Whether or not you'll be editing your own content, you need to be thinking like an editor when you're on set. That means grabbing wide, medium, and tight shots for basically everything you film, and constantly mixing up your angles, and even lenses. You should also always be hunting for interesting, unique angles and perspectives. Extreme close-ups, top-down shots, shallow depth of field, dynamic camera motion, all of these things can quickly turn a boring scene into an exciting one. Number three, film more than you need. Odds are, you'll only have a limited time frame on set for B-roll, and you need to do everything you can to make the most of this part of the shoot. This means filming as much content as possible and not trying to be too selective with your shots. I can't tell you how many times a shot that seemed mediocre on set turned out to be an all-star in the edit. Especially if you're filming for multiple deliverables or if there's a chance that this footage will need to be repurposed in a different project down the road, you can never have too much B-roll available. All too often, videos end up with boring, uninspiring B-roll footage to bridge the gaps. But that doesn't have to be the case, and these tips can help you turn any topic into a cinematic experience.